The following program contains explicit American history. If you suffer from stupidity, Randall may not be right for you. Check with your revisionist historian. Proclaiming the truth in the highways and byways of the world. Fighting for justice in the dark alleys of politics. Raising the voice of resistance to a fevered pitch. Men enough to walk his cat. Randall Terry. Kill. Which way is it going to go today? It's going to be good. The UN Security Council signs off, gives approval to Syria to keep killing dissidents. And Hank Williams causes an international crisis by comparing Obama to Hitler. And the pastor in Iran has now been charged with Zionism. You naughty, naughty Persian. Today's program brought to you in part by Cow Pies. Yes, Cow Pies, a long, illustrious history of warming people's homes and their toes. And by Hank Williams Jr., who stepped into a big cowboy with flair and with music. I'll be right back after a quick word from my friend. Sir Reginald, Blink. Turn the thing on, I got something. Just turn the thing on, I got something to say. The essence of slavery is that you are compelled to work for the benefit of another. Somebody else is wringing their bread off the sweat of your brow. And that, my friend, is what entitlements are. Entitled, who said they're entitled? Who said that another man is entitled to the fruit of my labor? Heck, God told Adam, you're gonna earn your bread by the sweat of your brow. And God says, this is tough. Well, the government says, oh no, you're gonna earn your bread by the sweat of your brow. And so are six other people. That is the essence of slavery. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the broadcast. Two things I wanna remind you of before we get going. Number one. G.K. Chesterton, and if you've never read him, please do. At least read Heretics and Orthodoxy, okay? G.K. Tester Chesterton said, that's hard to say. <laughs> he said, that which is ridiculous deserves to be ridiculed. So remember, if you look in the Bible at the prophets, at, at Elijah, at Jesus himself for that matter, there's some times when it's quite appropriate to mock and to ridicule that which is ridiculous. And this program has honed that to an art form. Second of all, God has a plan for your life. The Almighty created you. He who made heaven and earth created you and died for you on Calvary Street so that you could be redeemed to him for all eternity, but not just that, so that you could have a purpose in the reclamation of this world so that you could rebuild the ancient ruins, so that your life could have an impact for righteousness and justice and an impact against evil and darkness. May the just love you and may hell know your name and may hell detest you. That was a blessing, by the way. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Breaking news. This just in. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to report Attorney General Eric Holder apparently has full-blown Alzheimer's. Yes, Alzheimer's has officially set in on Eric, Hol uh, Eric Holder. We knew for several months that he was suffering from some type of dementia, but now it's clear from his testimony before Congress that he is suffering from Alzheimer's. We're talking, of course, about whether or not he remembered that the U.S. government was involved in illegal gun running to Mexican drug lords, one of the guns of which was used to kill a U.S. agent. He says, I don't remember anything about it except maybe a few weeks ago I heard something. No, he was being briefed weekly, okay? Weekly briefings. But tragically, he forgot about them all because of his sickness. Congress, rather than investigate him for perjury, is now recommending that he go to an itty bitty house out in the wilderness where they wear a white jacket and perhaps they tie their arms together so they can't hurt anyone or hurt themselves. We'll see what happens. Eric Holder, you vile louse. You vile louse. What a liar. 
But don't worry, people. He'll help you kill your baby. And he'll charge Dick Retta, a friend of ours in Washington, D.C., an 80-year-old man with a violation of the freedom of access to clinic entrances. What is Dick Retta's great crime? That he stands in front of a Planned Parenthood and begs women, don't kill your baby. Don't kill your baby. We'll help you. Don't kill your baby. He's got time to charge Dick Retta, and he forgets about gun running. Eric Holder, you're a despicable person. All right, let's go to Hank Williams. This is some seriously big breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Poor Hank. In case you missed it, his song, All My Rowdy Friends Are Coming Over Tonight. All my rowdy Nazis coming over tonight. Well, it's been yanked off of ESPN Monday Night Football because... Well, he's, he compared Obama to Hitler. Now, I like Hank Williams, but frankly, he missed it on this one. Let's go over Hitler and Obama right now, all right? We'll put Obama here, Hitler there. First of all, Obama, he's black. Hitler, he's white. Number two, Obama, clean shaven. Hitler, got that weird little facial hair thing going on over there. Now, we could add that facial hair to Obama, but it doesn't work. However, <laughs> with Eric Holder, check him out. Oh, yeah. Now, that's got a little something going on, but we're already done with Eric Holder. All right. Obama has Jews in his cabinet. Hitler kills Jews. They don't compare there. How about this? Obama, curly hair, little gray flecks in it. Hitler, Straight hair, maybe dyed, very dark. Origin, Hitler, he's Aryan. Obama, Kenyan, and a little bit of American mixed in there. And finally, I think that, I think that this is really what grasps the essence of the difference between them. Hitler, brilliant orator, inspirational, and no teleprompter. Obama, lives and dies by the teleprompter and is losing his grip on demagoguery. So while I like Hank Williams Jr., I think that he messed up by comparing Obama to Hitler. Now, the fact that Obama, like Hitler, is overseeing the murder of millions of innocent people, Obama did it, or rather Hitler did it in concentration camps, Obama does it in abortion mills, both in America and around the world. That one ethical comparison does deserve the light of day, but I don't think that that's what Hank Williams was talking about. So we will not make that comparison today, only to say that Hitler's efficiency in killing the innocent far exceeds Obama's. Obama's like a stumbling drunk fool when it comes to genocide. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's killing people, but not with the, the efficiency of he who created the Autobahn. We'll keep you updated on whether or not Hank's phenomenal song, All My Rowdy Friends Are Coming Over Tonight, is gonna make it back to Monday Night Football. I've gotta take a break. When we come back, an update on the Iranian pastor and China and Russia signing off. Syria, go ahead, kill your dissidents. It's okay with us because we don't want you interfering with us if we kill our dissidents. And Part two of the interview with that Secret Service agent who resigned from protecting Obama in order to run for the U.S. Senate. Part two of that exclusive interview filmed in Israel coming up. Don't go away. You're watching the nation's number one Tea Party television So, And we know it's true because we say so. I'll break that. There's room on the granite at Mount Rushmore for one more face. They're saving it for Randall Terry. Something about having to be dead first. Hi, Joe Costello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I've been making superb nutritional supplements for over 15 years, and from day one, I've partnered with Randall Terry, helping to fund his invaluable work in reclaiming our country's biblical and godly roots. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives since its inception. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, 
Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine essential areas of nutrition your body needs on a daily basis. Each serving of the Total Living Drink provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, enzymes for better digestion and nutrient absorption, protein for building lean muscle mass so you can burn more fat for fuel, probiotics for better intestinal function, herbs for building energy and stamina, antioxidants for maximum immune function and disease prevention, and all the vitamins and minerals you need for slowing down aging and maximum health. You would have to take 30 to 40 capsules each day and spend almost $10 a day to match the over 30,000 milligrams of total nutrition in each scoop of the Total Living Drink. Order right now and get started on the amazing Total Living Drink. They come in two delicious flavors, Total Living Drink Greens and Total Living Drink Berry. And every single dollar we receive, we give a generous amount to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Visit us online at the address on your screen and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today, and for the daily price of a latte, you can get back on the road to better health and energy with Kylea's Total Living Drink. Moments with Moses. All the leading priests and the people likewise were exceedingly unfaithful, following all the abominations of the nations. And they polluted the house of the Lord, which he had hallowed in Jerusalem. Welcome back to the program, friend. A Delaware mother has been arrested and charged with trying to sell her newborn baby for $15,000 to a couple evidently who wanted to adopt this baby. Those details are not clear to me at this point, but let's just focus number one. This poor mom, God help her, God please help her. One can only imagine the despair and I'm guessing the addiction to some narcotic that would drive her to such extremity. However, what did she do wrong? She didn't go to Planned Parenthood first. If she had just gone to Planned Parenthood, maybe she was the victim of a sex crime. Maybe she was involved in some illegal sex ring. Maybe she's a sex slave. And if Planned Parenthood would have covered that up, and if she'd have done it in Massachusetts, well, for $50, thanks to Mitt Romney, she could have had a copay and killed her baby, no problem. A baby in a dumpster is better off, according to Obama and Mitt Romney, than a baby being sold for $15,000 and hopefully raised by somebody who actually wants the baby. I will just make this one quick observation. I know this is a little harsh, but we've got to be slapped repeatedly in this country to come to grips with the horror of what's going on. Joseph, remember him in the Bible? Jacob's son, Israel's son. Jacob was sold into slavery by his brothers and he ended up saving them. Yeah, he said to them, you meant it for evil. God meant it for good. He was better off alive and sold into slavery than dead. And they were discussing killing him. So this little baby, please, Jesus, protect this child. We need to pray for this baby. This baby is going to have some heartache when he or she grows up and finds out exactly what happened. But this is, this I know for sure. This baby, made in the image of God, is better off dead than alive. In related news, Congressman Denny Reberg has introduced H.R. 3070 to defund Planned Parenthood. Okay, he wants to cut off money for Planned Parenthood, wants to give doctors the right to oppose Planned Parenthood and all child killing and not suffer consequences, and wants to take away some money from some of the socialist government health care providers if they promote and encourage killing the baby. This bill, well, you can count on our pro-life Republican Speaker of the House, John Boehner. You can count on his support. Not... Once again, Boehner and his continuing resolution battle with Obama has caved in and funded and refunded and refunded the child-killing giant, the criminal syndicate, Planned Parenthood. In case you don't remember why I call Planned Parenthood a criminal syndicate, please remember, undercover people, undercover pro-life agents on tape have shown that they will protect pedophiles. They will protect crim... Now, I have to be careful what I say here. Pimps who are involved in sex trafficking of minors, okay? Underage girls. Pimps bringing in minors who are pregnant, 
saying we want to kill this baby and Planned Parenthood covering up the crime. That's what Planned Parenthood is about. That is why they are a damnable criminal syndicate who don't deserve not only any of our money, but what they do deserve is to have some of their key officials behind bars after they've been publicly flogged. Well, I've got to take a quick break. When we come back, uh, we've got that interview with the uh, candidate for Senate in Maryland, second part of the interview that I did in Israel, and a couple of thoughts on China and Russia. Don't go away. Hi, Joe Costello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine daily essential areas of nutrition your body needs. Each scoop provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, probiotics for better intestinal function, antioxidants for disease prevention, and vitamins and minerals for establishing maximum health. Order now and get started on the Total Living Drink. When you do, a generous gift will go to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Order online and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today and enjoy maximum health and energy. I have no fear of the future. Let us go forward into its mysteries. Let us tear aside the veils which hide it from our eyes. And let us move onward with confidence and courage. Sir Winston Churchill. Welcome back to the program, friend. Quick correction, slip of the tongue in the last segment. I said that the baby was better off dead than alive. I meant better off alive than dead. I apologize. However, there are people, including some people who say that they're Christians, who think that it's okay to abort a baby because the baby will not have a really good quality of life. They're better off dead than alive. And so I propose that we round up all the people in the world who have a less than stellar quality of life going on right now and we just off them all. Do them a favor. Put them out of their misery. Yeah. No. Just kidding. All right, on to China and Russia. They vetoed the UN resolution to condemn Syria for killing some 2,700 civilians in recent months. China and Russia say, hey, Syria, we get it. We don't want to vote for this because it could be interpreted as a call for a regime change. <laughs> Read Hosni Mubarak on trial. Muammar Gaddafi running for his life. They'll get him, they'll kill him. Yes. Al-Hassan, don't worry, my friend. We need you to keep buying weapons from us. I mean, after all, Syria does have a good number of Russian-made and Chinese-made weapons in their stockpiles. They don't want to lose a good client, so they vetoed it. Keep killing those civilians, Al-Hassan. Good work. And oh, by the way, we, China, we, Russia, if we want to kill our civilians, we don't want anyone interfering either. All right, on to our exclusive interview with Daniel Bongino, who is running for U.S. Senate against Ben Cardin in Maryland. Mr. Bongino actually resigned from the Secret Service to take on this left-wing lunatic. Here is part two of my exclusive interview with him. Your top three issues. Economy, health care, education, every time. And they're all related. They're really not three issues. They're one issue broken down into three separate parts. All right, talk about the economy. Taxation. I mean, are we, are we at the point now where we believe confiscatory taxation is going to work? It's never worked. Look at the research. I ask folks, just Google it yourself. Look at some of the studies on fiscal adjustments based on taxation, not on spending cuts. Failed every time. Alessini and Ardenia, look it up yourself. Look up the VETER research. Every dollar in increased taxes on a fiscal adjustment, we spent between $1.05 and $1.80. That saved the dollar. We spent $1.05 at the low end and $1.80 at the high end. So how can you, with a straight face, tell us that we can tax our way out of this problem? We have a spending problem. We have a spending problem, not a tax problem. All I need, ladies and gentlemen, is a rubber band, a bigger needle, and just a little bit more of the white stuff in it. I need more money! <laughs> well. That, and it's not going to work. It's failed. It's failed over and over again. The research is there. I'm not rich. I don't own stock in big oil right, and right. big and big gas and big pharma. There's no such thing to me. There's let's, only corporations. Let's talk about oil. Drilling up in Anwar, Alaska, freeing ourselves from an Arab oil addiction. 
Well, I'm putting out an economic plan and in, the, in the coming weeks. That's going to be a big focus is domestic energy production. We need to look at all. We need to look at fracking in the Marcellus in Western Maryland. We need to look at oil production everywhere, the Gulf Coast, the Pacific Coast, yes. everywhere. Yes. We need to look everywhere. We And, you know, people say, well, global's an oil market. Really? Well, the jobs aren't. I assure you, if you get a job in Amwar, a job in a Gulf, it's not a global job. It's an American job. So global may be an oil market, and maybe it doesn't affect the price, but it sure affects the price of the person who's working in that uh, specific Well, not market. only that, but when we get a chain around our neck from OPEC and they jerk it, we're they're affecting our economy, a transfer of wealth to Islamic nations, and then Saudi Arabia is the number one funder of terrorism in the world. Yes. And where, does, where do the Saudis get their money? It's not from trinkets and birthday toys, it's from oil. Right. Yeah, domestic oil production has a number of positive externalities. The economy being number one, where you bring up some valid points. We're shipping our money overseas to fund issues. And they're sending it back in the form of bullets and bombs. Right, which is interesting. I mean, it's interesting how that Return dynamic Return to sender. Works. Right. We don't, I mean, we don't need that anymore. We need to look at a serious domestic initiative to produce our own oil, our own natural gas. I mean, we have tons of it. Look at the, the Dakotas. We have tons of it. You said economy, healthcare, education. education. And school choice, is this really an issue? How do the Democrats defend themselves? You know my opponent voted down school choice in D.C. and federal funding for school vouchers. How do you walk into Baltimore City and tell a parent who, mind you, cares no less about their child than you or I do? No less. There's no they. It's right. not these people or right. they. There's no these people. Moms and dads care more they're about their moms kids than and a dads. bureaucrat. The melanin content of their skin or where they were born is irrelevant. It's as arbitrary as the height of your cameraman. It means nothing. These folks care about their kids as much as us because there's no they. How you can knock on their door and tell them you support them, but then say, no, you go to the school, I say. Not you say, I say. Yeah, but sir, that school's no good. It's a prison. No, you go there. <laughs> But I'm for you. No, you're not for them. And I go into Baltimore City and Prince George's County, and I knock Good. on doors. And they say to me, wow, you're a Republican? You're either crazy or you really believe in the cause. I say, well, it's the latter, I assure you. I believe in the cause. <laughs> uh, in case you just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, we're standing. Uh, the Western Wall is here, also called the Wailing Wall. We're here in Jerusalem. And Daniel is running for the United States Senate. Andrew's trying to get a good angle with the sun. All right, health care. Health care. We have to repeal the Affordable Care Act immediately. Every failed initiative in human history in regards to health care is in this specific bill. It's like they're either attempting to collapse the health care system or it's a strict ideological fight on it's their part. It's for sure ideological. Yeah, there's there's no bargaining. There's no empirical people. evidence that you would go, oh, this has worked in Canada. This has done great in England. Let's do that. No, when you look at the English system, they've actually lost productivity. Think about that. They've lost productivity. We are richer in the United States and in a lot of the developing countries in the world because we figured out to get more output out of the same inputs. The English healthcare system has figured out to get less output out of the same inputs. We're using this. This is the gold standard. Yeah, but the their grave diggers system. union is doing really well. They're, they're doing there's a fantastic. lot more dead people right. than put in the <laughs> Right, and there's a lot more. You know, every resource is scarce, or we'd all have Corvettes, correct? You can only <laughs> rush. Uh, am I wrong in it? You can only you can only allocate resources one of two ways: either a price mechanism, or you can ration it. If someone can show me a third way, your audience or a Democrat or an ideological leftist, I'd like to hear about it. But either be honest with the folks and come over and say, we're going to ration it. Or, or really, as that's where I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight on every, what was iPad? Why do you need iPad? Because you need to ration services. Why, or else everybody would drive a Corvette. Why would you drive a Ford Pinto? So you'd have prices? I want to live with the risk of an explosion behind me. It gives me an adrenaline rush every my day. Father, my father was a plumber. He had a Pinto. That's why that comes to mind. So. Did he ever have an explosion? No, luckily. He's yeah. still alive. Yeah, yeah. Not driving the Pinto, though. All right. Any last word to our viewers? And again, folks, go to his website. You see it there on the scene, or rather on the screen. Um, any last word to our viewers? Yeah, I just want to say it's time for real people who live real lives with real consequences. You know, to get up off the couch, you see it with the Tea Party movement. Stop throwing the Nerf football at the screen. And, and don't feel bad for me. I, I, you know, I left the job and I left it online because I believe in a cause. I don't want your vote because of your sympathy. I want your vote because you believe in me. Because I'm a real guy who's really led a life with real consequences. If you live in a state besides Maryland, which is most of you, you can't vote for Daniel, but you can send him money. Why not? Please. We appreciate it. Money's uh, the toughest part of politics is asking for money. Yep. But uh, and you've got to do it. You can scream in a train station, but ultimately you have to buy a megaphone. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. God bless you. Long life to you. Thank and you, if sir. I can be of service, you let me know. Thanks a lot. I appreciate My it. Pleasure. Thank you. May his days be few. May another seize his goods. May his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. May his children wander about and beg. May they be driven out of the ruins they inhabit.
Hi, Joe Castello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine daily essential areas of nutrition your body needs. Each scoop provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, probiotics for better intestinal function, antioxidants for disease prevention, and vitamins and minerals for establishing maximum health. Order now and get started on the Total Living Drink. When you do, a generous gift will go to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Order online and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today and enjoy maximum health and energy. John Adams said, The jaws of power are always open to devour, and her arm is always stretched out, if possible, to destroy the freedom of thinking, speaking, and writing. Friends, that's what we see in China. That's what we see in Syria. And that's what we see in Iran, where our brother, our Christian brother, Pastor Joseph Narakani, is on trial for his life. Pray for him. See you tomorrow.